This is going to be a hotel tour of, if my phone will focus, it won't focus on that sign, but this is the Desmond Hotel in Albany, New York. I figured since this hotel's very, very busy, a lot of events going on, I figured that my phone would be appropriate for this hotel tour. So with that being said, let's go explore. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous hotel. It's huge too. But as big as this hotel is, this is actually gonna be a qu pretty simple hotel tour. So with that being said, let's get started. We've got these wood doors right over here. Here's the lobby area of the hotel. Got a gift shop over here, which is closed right now. I'll probably get something from here tomorrow. But that's the gift shop. Front desk over there. And over here, you got two restaurants, The Simpsons and Tavern, and you get the airport schedule, which is really cool. I'd say that's really late right now. Well, actually not really late, since it's nighttime now. The, all the cargo air, air, airlines are going through here. But yeah, you got arrivals from all the airlines at the hotel. hotel. This hotel is just around the street. This is the builder room of the uh, hotel I forgot to show. You got two pool tables. And the uh... There's pool balls over there. I'm not sure where the sticks are. You got an ATM over here. So yeah, this is the hotel's billiard room from uh, Albany International Airport. There's one of the elevators here. I, I'm not, we're not gonna ride in this video though. I do have a video of this elevator. It's actually quite a nice mod. Focus. And when you get here, you get greeted with a beautiful, unfortunately, it's died, so you can't really see well now. This is only one of the two courtyards in this hotel. I'll have to take a picture of this or a video of this in the daytime so you can see it. There's not a lot of lights right now. This is a beautiful courtyard. And this is only one of them. And yes, this hotel is part of IHG. So if you book this hotel on IHG.com, you can get points on this hotel, if you're, especially if you're a member. Oh, this is the business center, okay. We'll have to go into the business center of the hotel, which I gotta get my key out. All right, here's the International Business Center. Pretty small, but it's got three Dell computers. Well, look at that, it's got different clocks too. New York, London, and Tokyo. Looks like I guess you could put your laptop here, which is actually pretty cool, to be honest with you. Got a printing machine right here. Let's also if we could do fax as well. That's gotta be it, because look, there's a phone right there. Yep, fax is done as well. What software is this run? There's plenty of, yep, Windows 10, uh, no, Windows 7. It's Windows 7. And you got plenty of outlets in here, which is cool. You got a garbage pan, you can't really see it because it's low light in here. And our friend, Mr. Security. All right, let's continue. I missed it, I walked past this like several times and I never noticed it. The International Business Center. They got kind of funky names here. Over here's like a little dining area. There's a, this, this place is popular for conventions. I'm attending a conference in this hotel. That one. In fact, first, let's go look at the fountain. Gorgeous fountain here. got lights over it too. You got like in these rooms, yes, they do overlook into the into this courtyard. Oh, 
All right. And these are the suites over here. Oh, Human Resources is over here, too. Sorry for the focus. That's the Human Resources office. We got restrooms over here. Look at that. It says Padgett to the King Street, High Street, and Town Hall. This is all part of the hotel. It's kind of funny what they did with this. Got a nice little display over here. Had Moe's earlier today. You can see a little bit in there. That's the staff locker room. Doing great. How about you? Honestly, this is probably one of the coolest hotels I've ever stayed at. It's just so unique in so many ways. Here is the second courtyard in this hotel. Before we go into the second courtyard, let's go have a look at the health club. All right, we're gonna check out the hotel's health club, which is the pool and fitness center. Okay, over here, you have a nice indoor pool. Interesting shape, look at that. And in here, we got the fitness center. Oh dear, it's got um, TV playing. So, yeah, you got treadmills over here. It's pretty, it's cool in here compared to there. So, um, you got a treadmill over here. Oh, no, no, elliptical over here. I think that's what it is. Nah. But I'm bad with this equipment. I'm sorry, guys. You got over here. Hello. You, you got your balls over here. And your towels. And over here, I can't go in there, is a lodge. Yep. And now, we're gonna go to look at the other courtyard. This one's a quieter one, too. It's still just as dark. I'm gonna try to come back here in the morning, if I can, if I have some time to film the courtyard. Get a picture of it, it's, it's pretty dark. Yeah, this is, this is the second courtyard of this hotel. Look at that, some of the, the suites. Look at that. They're named after addresses like actual houses. So this room is for King Street. And they designed it like a house. Look at that. It's like a big house they've got here. And that's to King Street. This is part of the hotel is technically considered King Street. That is some suite in there. I don't know what's back there, huh? I probably don't know. Am I hitting any residences? I don't know. I'll have to look it up a little bit more. Yeah. Now this is the high street portion. There's stairs over there. This is what the courtyard, the second courtyard looks like during the day. Love the town theme in this hotel. Here's another fountain over here. In this one, you just kind of hang out. You don't need to be, I think, I, I don't think you need to be at a conference for this one. You can't really see it very well, but there's tables right over here. Let's get a view from the, the balcony of the courtyard. And there is an elevator right here at 6 King Street. This place has four elevators. You'll see two in this hotel tour. I filmed all four elevators already, so. And one of them is completely original, Otis Lexan. But this one has GAL. And it doesn't serve the second floor. It just goes straight up to the third floor. Hello. Door closed does not work. There's no phone in here, so. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, this is a convention area. Wow. That's what this is. But they got like a table in there and everything. Wow, this is cool. But now, we will look at the overlook. I did check the map as well. This place has a total of four elevators as well. Look at the view from here. This is pretty cool. I can even see into one of the guest rooms right now. All right, it seems like someone just got on the elevator, so. Let's go down the stairs. Check that out. Yes, we are, that is the, oh, we got, we got two, okay. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So that's why it skips the second floor. Because this is just a balcony. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's nothing on this floor, so it makes sense for um, the elevator to skip this floor. Because look, this, that's all it is. It's a little balcony area. Now we gotta go down all the way. Hello. All right. Seriously though, this is gorgeous. All right, but now we're going back into one of the buildings. We're gonna go look at the room next. Okay, this ended up being much longer than I thought it would be. There's just so much neat things to explore in this hotel. This is really neat. But here's something neat too. This elevator is original, Otis Lexon. With a gorgeous cab. All right. That doesn't work, unfortunately. Oh, I keep getting, I keep missing the leveling. I'll kick up the three and we'll ride the other elevator. I just want to get that leveling at some point today. Impact cam. I keep missing it when I keep filming here. Floor in the elevator with amber M2 buttons to our room. Okay, I finally got that. Check, listen to this. The machine room's up here too. And you know what's pretty cool? The elevator by my room, which is the Amber M2 mod, that elevator, the machine room's on the second floor. The machine rooms on these elevators are in interesting places in this hotel. Seriously though, this has got to be one of the coolest hotels I've ever been to. If you guys are in the Albany area, I definitely recommend checking them out, this place out. It's really cool. So we wrote three of the four elevators here. I have videos of all four elevators here. Full videos too, ground trip on all of them. All right, we're right. That's my room, but except on the second floor. I'm on the second floor. I love these M Amber M2 buttons. I think that's an Epco Lantern too. This cap is gorgeous as well. Like, I actually like this mod. It's really nice. This used to be a Lexan. Right, I'm gonna send this up to three, because the machine room's on this floor. Takes a long time. This one takes forever to level. It's right over here.
I wonder how they got this to work. Because this is on the second floor. It's an intermediate floor. And that's where the machine room is. Now that you think about 359 Main Street was like the same thing. Okay. But here we are at our room. Room 203. Oh yeah, this is how you do the key card. Probably a little bit of a mess. We 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 had we are all over the place today. I'm gonna put my soda down before I begin. So this is an adjoining room, but we're, since we're not staying with anybody else, we can't do that. Security, you got your deadbolt and your latch. But I'm gonna undo that just so I don't accidentally lock my mom out when she comes back. Here's the map. Okay, I guess let's start with the bathroom since it's like right here. There is no fan in here. It's kind of a downside because it kind of got swampy in here. Hello. Got a nice sink over here. Ice bucket with really nice glasses. Okay. Got a nice shower over here. It was very warm. I had a great shower in this earlier. You got your toilet. Who made this toilet? Geiner, I think that is? Yeah. You have a phone in the bathroom? That's pretty cool, I gotta say. <laughs> I guess you could take your shower or use the toilet when you're um, in the bathroom. That's actually pretty cool. Got a nice hair dryer over here. Beauty mirror over there too. I think that's what it's called. Two door stoppers. I guess that other one's for here. Here's the hotel. There's Big Butt Bear. Let's see how the beds are. Ooh, that actually feels pretty nice. Got a nice TV over here. You right out there. The lobby's like right over there. My room's close to the lobby. I was actually surprised I got a room this close to the lobby considering how huge this hotel is. Yeah, you got simple coffee maker over here, CV1. Mini one. I don't really I don't drink coffee, so it's too bad I can't use this, but yeah. Oh, here's a billiard room here. Very much you could get play with pool here. Got some outlets over here. Got a nice light over here. <laughs> Gotta turn it on. I don't want to break it either. There we go. Got a phone here. Oh, desk space. There's your LG TV here. There's my camcorder. Pretty spacious. There's four of them. I don't think I need to open all of them. Yeah. You got a nice little chair over here. Okay. So that concludes today's hotel tour. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe for more.